Hello, this is Funks my name from the Lost Marble Forum. And I just wanted to go over some of the new enhancements now that Anime Studio 9 is available um, of the point editing and um, timeline features and um, a couple of frustrations I had when I first used it. Hopefully you can avoid them. So I'm just going to animate this line around a little bit. Um, so let's copy and paste. Now, first thing is if you're familiar with previous versions where copying and pasting keyframes uh, was on Alt C V and Alt back space, um, that's gone now. So it's Control C V to do everything, which uh, can be a bit confusing because when you select, if you have any keyframe selected, it will copy the keyframes, not the shape. Um, so if I paste now, you'll see the keyframes have been moved. But actually, if I just don't pay attention to what's selected down here, and I edit this and copy and paste, it's copying and pasting keyframes still. Um, now, there is a reason for this, which I will show you in a sec. But it's just so you know, if things aren't if things aren't copying and pasting and you're actually working on shapes um, then you need to either press return uh, to deselect de everything or just click anywhere on the timeline to deselect everything so if you ever find yourself copying and pasting and thinking what's going on it's not working just do that make sure that all these are deselected now the reason for that is that now one of the new functions is that any keyframe that's selected point animation that is created now will relatively happen to all selected keyframes so basically by moving this point over here I've actually created a bend not only on this keyframe but on this keyframe too this keyframe remains the same because it hasn't been it wasn't selected when I made the change so that's another important reason to make sure that your entire timeline is deselected if you only want to affect that one frame because now frames will just select you know they'll they'll just do things to your entire animation if the entire animation is selected which is great if you want to add new you know add another bump to a nose uh, throughout your entire animation you can do that without having to go through the, the pre-existing animation and, and changing it but what that means is that now moving this up and it was down low here it's brought it back to the middle because um, it's relatively moved this point up this amount which happened to be a similar amount to what this point was moved down before if I move this down here quite a bit it will bring this point down too but less than this one obviously so that is relative if those points aren't the same um, on these two keyframes then that animation will be relatively added which is great again it means that if you like that bump on the nose thing if you already animated the head so it, it's in a different position it's still going to add the bump reliably so that's really really cool um, but it will possibly cause you some frustration if you're working with points and you're wondering why they can't copy and paste or you always just need to be aware um, and it's less of an issue probably if you don't have ed ed editing on frames other than zero enabled but I always have that enabled so um, it's just something to bear in mind now another cool thing to do with that is that if you now add points at frame zero even if the shape has already been animated it's going to do its best to animate those new points along with the rest so that's really really handy if you if you again if you were um, used to previous versions if you add points in previous versions new points um, what happens is um, well I can show you actually because I've got one of Fazex tools which hasn't been updated with this new functionality so if I had a point here with Fazex tool not not the core tools um, you'll see that those points just stay exactly where they were when I added them and that was what 
all point adding used to be like, but now it isn't. So that's really, really handy. It's a great new function. Um, it means if you don't have the points in order to add that bump in the nose, you can add the points later and then create your bump in the nose. <laughs> I don't think I've ever said bump in the nose quite so many times. So that's pretty much it for, for point and keyframes. Um, one a couple of cool things to note is that you can now color code your keyframes. So if you label orange, um, whatever, green, so you can mark different keyframes that you feel are important. Um, your main keyframes can be edited. Now this is also possible with um, with layers. So if you go to layer color, you can change the color of the layer. Um, and you won't see the change now because while it's selected, you don't see the color. But um, it means that if you duplicate the layers, you can change their color to whatever you want. So that's really handy too. Um, and finally, well, I just, well, last couple of things. If I go back to, let's just delete these layers. Right, if I go back to this layer, um, a cool thing is if you alt and drag on a keyframe, it holds. So, why is that not working? Let me select all those. So now the shape's not going to move until the hold stops and then it will move. So it's a really handy way. Previously we had to copy and paste keyframes and there was no visual representation of how this keyframe related to the one that we just put down to stop the action. So you ended up with a big mess on the keyframe on the um, on the timeline, which is now avoided. So that's pretty cool. And finally, um, if you the alt thing again to avoid frustration, it only works if you haven't got anything selected. So you have to deselect all your points, and then you can alt drag on different things to actually create holds. And every point and every every channel can have its own hold um, so you can create some interesting animation that way. Um, finally if you select frames and then set their interval to 2 or 3 or 4, 5, 6 or whatever um, let's say 2 um, this means that this animation will now work on 2 so it only updates every other frame which is a really great um, feature as well. Previously I had um, synth create me a script to be able to do this uh, which basically created a keyframe every two frames just so we're able to to make this happen um, you can create a real sort of old school looking animation just by having things on twos instead of ones um, but you can change that to another number so that's really handy and that is reflected on the motion graph as well but we can go into that in another video um, so that's pretty much it I, I wanted to keep it as short as I could um, while going over all the new features that haven't really been documented all that well at the moment um, so hopefully you'll find this useful now you can get your hands on Anime Studio 9 and I'll see you around the forum cheers <laughs>